I want him to succeed because him succeeding would mean all of us succeeding. But if we lose tonight, We finally made it. We are in downtown Columbus, right outside the stadium, which is beautiful. It's, it's really nice. Yeah, uh, I'm excited to get in there, check it all out. We have about yeah three hours or so until kickoff and there's a good number of fans here already. So we'll go and talk to them, get their pregame thoughts, see how they're feeling. And yeah, we'll talk once lineups drop. I feel confident so much as uh, hopeful. Confident. Uh, I, I would say I'm probably about 50-50, man. Just, just, I got a lot of bad feelings from this last game, the game of Panama, so I, I, would, I would say I'm somewhere in the middle. How could I predict anything but a win? Like, we're going we're gonna to win. We have to win. I think if we have our best players on the field that, that are available in this camp, we'll take care of everything else. I'm feeling pretty confident. I mean, there's really only one or two players from the Costa Rican team that I really look at and I'm kind of like worried about. Lineups are out. Yeah, solid lineup. The only two changes I would make, I would take out Zach Steffen, put in Matt Turner. I'd sub out Paul Ariola, put in Matthew Hoppy. Still, though, the team that's on the field that's good enough for us to get the win. Yeah, um, let's see it. I just want to see some fun, exciting, attacking play. I want us to create lots of chances. I want us to press high. I want us to go out there and it just be clear that we want it more than Costa Rica. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. American player Zach Steffen is younger than the youngest of America's Costa Rican opponents. And arriving is Fuller, is scored! Exactly one minute in! Costa Rica have had a chance to regroup, but here's Dest! Oh it's behind after 60 seconds, but from that point on, the graph has headed in a more favorable direction. Well, Halftime, I don't think that was a very positive performance. We get scored on right away, and you have to wonder, does that goal go in if Matt Turner's on the field? We got the goal um, from a moment of brilliance. Like, we had a beautiful attacking sequence. It gets ruined when we get in the final third. And then Sergino picks up the garbage ball, and then he's just like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it myself. And he goes and makes an amazing play happen. But other than that, like, did we really have any good chances created? I don't think so. Like, they're, we're really good up until the final third. And then in the final third, we just settle for crosses. That's it, just a, a hopeful cross into the box. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we're gonna win the game, but in typical Berhalter fashion, it's not gonna be pretty. We're just gonna get the job done and that's it. And we're gonna be left wanting more. And, it's like every game we're left wanting more and we just never get it. Um, yeah, we'll probably win, but does it mean anything? I don't know. And I'm gonna say my boy Tim Way against one. My boy Tim Way against one, man. Cause I, I mean, I need to see my guy get on the score sheet one time for the US. A few moments ago, especially defensive on that part. Here's Way! It's in! Timothy Weir celebrates! It may go down as an own goal because it came off the post onto the keeper and in. Sardes kicks it as far as possible. Halfway to Cincinnati. It's then stop Cincinnati and the United States have got themselves back on the track.
2-1. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about it. I'm torn. There were some really good moments, some really exciting, intricate, fun pieces of attacking play. But, I mean, for the vast majority of the game, every time we got in the final third, we just settled for a hopeful cross. And I just don't think that's good enough, you know, what, almost a year out from the World Cup. It's, we got to find a way to be better. And I'm just not seeing the progress that we're supposed to have. You know, I think the only difference between today and Panama was just the quality we had on the field. It, nothing changed tactically. It's still the same thing. It was just there's individual moments of brilliance and they were able to execute our tactics better. But I still don't think our tactics are good enough to, to get the job done. We're just, yeah, like, I mean, Tim Weah's goal was great. And what do you know, is the one time where we didn't settle for a hopeful cross and it was an actual like intricate play. And then like we, there's a diagonal run and we hit the guy on the, like with the through ball and then you score. It's like, go figure. Um, yeah, I, I don't. I don't really know like how to feel. It's the question that I just keep asking myself before the game, during the game, and after the game is 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 winning enough? And I don't. I don't think winning is enough. There's got to be more to it. We got to do more. We got to play better. We got to be better. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's. I think we have just as many questions heading into November as we did at the start of this window. Yeah, I don't know where the answers are coming from, so.